My name is John Hunley, product trainer for Compact Tractors, and today we're going to demonstrate how to install and uninstall the new drive over mid mount mower deck for the new Compact Tractors. We have with us a Boomer 50 and a 72 inch mid mount deck. First thing we want to do is make sure we have the tractor on a solid, hard surface, and then we want to raise the gauge wheels to their highest possible point, placing the pin above the blue collar to give it some leeway. Next, we're going to lower the mid-mount mower deck all the way to the ground. After lowering the deck to the ground, we want to disconnect the front mount assembly. Next, we want to release the two rear attachment pins. After the two pins are released, then we want to disconnect the drive shaft, the PTO shaft. For the next step, it's important that we have some 2x4s and some 4x4s laying around. The reason is we want to place those behind the front tires to assist in ramping up onto the deck. But we also want to put a few behind the deck to prevent the deck from slipping backwards when you drive up on it. For the next step, it's important that we raise the three-point linkage to prevent the linkage from hitting any part of the mower deck. Also, we want to make sure we're in low range and four-wheel drive. With those settings, we're prepared to back over the deck. We've now successfully removed the new drive-over mid-mount mower deck for the new compact tractors. But now we're going to talk about how to reinstall the mower deck. I left the 2 and the 2 by 2s and the 4 by 4s in place, but we would then bring those in again to use them as ramps in the in the back now and use the front two so that the uh, mower deck will not slide. And we want to be sure that our three-point linkage is still in the raised position. We're in low range and four-wheel drive. And now that we've driven over the deck and we're straddling the deck, we want to go back through our steps. Now we want to lower our three-point linkage so we can attach the rear assembly. Once we have our rear linkage attached, then we want to move up to the front components next. Next, we want to reconnect the PTO or the drive shaft. After we've connected the drive shaft, we want to raise the mid mount mower to its highest position. Once in its highest position, now we want to remember to go and change the level of our gauge wheels.
And that's it, you're ready to mow.